Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. Woo! Ha ha! It is greatly appreciated and well received, more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Daddy's Tarot. So, to start with, I am going to put down the holy water. And I have got, uh, I would like to thank Yaffa for mailing me the Mystical Shaman uh, Oracle deck. So, today, we're going to start with that. But... You know what I'm going to do first. Tarot's down session. Most honorable judge, T.T. Tong Poseidon. You can all keep singing. Meow. Okay. So, I know. It's going to be different today. I felt like doing something different after the full moon. How was everybody's full moon? Mine was pretty good. I felt a shift yesterday at about 4 o'clock. I felt a huge shift, right? And as soon as I felt the shift... I got confirmation, like physical confirmation. It's so weird. It was like I knew something was getting ready to happen, and then boom. It was like, whoa. I'm like, this is weird. Like, I don't know. Sometimes it's weird how that goes for me. But whatever the case is, I'm going to start your uh, reading today uh, with an oracle card. So this is what we're going to do today. And then we'll get in, uh, you know, to what I do. <laughs> Let's go Oracle message here for Pisces today. Sure. Okay. Oh, good Lord. That flung all the way out here. Okay. So we have completion. This is the card number nine. So I'm going to set it right there here. So, okay. All things have be a beginning, a middle, and an end. This is... The nature of life, the seed, the flower, and the fruit, and of all human relationships. Completion suggests the fullness of the moment and the need to transform an old form into a new one. So you have finished a cycle, and there is no more growth or benefit from hanging on to the old. In regards to relationships, okay... It is time to honor what has been and find a new form for the future. In your ventures, it is time to reap your harvest. Completion is a time for celebration. It is the end of summer when the fruit is ripe. So the medicine here, that this is the medicine message because it comes with medicine, just like our spirit guides or our spirit animals. If you believe in totems, like owls have certain medicine, snakes have certain medicine. Clinging, and this is a snake on here, okay? So this is a very powerful, powerful transformation, which is exactly why it would be completion. It's like a snake shedding its old skin here to grow, to go better, be better. Clinging to an old form will bring you only decay. When fruit is left too long on the vine, it rots. You know that it is time to move on, yet you're reluctant. Do not be afraid of hurting anyone's feelings. Remember that you are responsible for your actions and not the actions of others. Mourn what is lost so you can move on. Do not be sad. Be like the sun um, at midday who shines brightly, neither longing for uh, the sunrise nor dreading the dusks. Ooh, that's a very, very beautiful message. So, I'm just going to put that right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Yafa. So, with that being said, you know what we're going to do now. We're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy could be approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know, right? I mean, for real. Whatever the case is, we are going to get it. We are going to hit it. And then we're going to quit it together, baby. And we're going to hug each other afterwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Calling out your name, your name. What is that? That's like a, it's a song. Calling out your name. It's, uh, it'd be like electronic music. Who does that? I don't know. Show me the energy of the person, my beautiful. Okay. 
Show me the energy, the person might. Okay, right on. Show me the energy, the person might. I don't know what that was. Let's go top to bottom for me, please. Show me the energy, the person might. Okay, we got the sun. I might just slide that right here. Maybe. No, I'm just going to slide that right here. I know. I'm, I'm such a loon. I can't help it. I'm, like, very organized. <laughs> Let's go top to bottom. Come on, baby. Let's shake and bake. Shake and bake here. Let's shake and bake. I'm trying to burn out this candle at my house. It's old, and I want it to go. So, anyway, I don't know who I'm talking. Nine wands, the four of swords, the sun, the four of pentacles. Okay. Somebody here might be wanting to send you a message, or there's a, a victorious energy here. Okay, Pisces. Your person here, they're holding something back here from you. Mm -hmm. We've got the sun card, divine masculine energy. Uh, it is the full life force. It gives life force to everything, right? Growth, nurturing, okay? Uh, it's also the happiest card in the deck. It's happiness. We like to be happy. Four swords. Here's your person. I just I come out of the groundhog hole to see if if you're here. I've been healing over the winter. Should I should I go back in the groundhog hole? I, I don't know, Pisces. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> the groundhog. Okay, we've got the nine of wands. Okay. So, somebody here, uh, they're, they're afraid of something. They're afraid of something here. I don't know what. Normally, I would like to talk to those four swords, because you know I like a good sword fight more than anything. But I feel like, uh, I want to talk to the nine wands, because the nine is basically the end. Okay. So what is this person putting up a front? They're putting up a front, but they're afraid of something here. What are they afraid is going to happen here? What's what are afraid? Okay. What are, what are they afraid of here with the three of pentacles, please? What are they afraid of with the three of pentacles here? What's this person afraid of with the three of pentacles, please? What is this person afraid of with the three of pentacles, please? Okay. This person here is afraid that the, the foundation of their stability here, okay, might fall apart here. And why would this person be afraid that the foundation of their stability might fall apart? Why would this person be afraid that the foundation of their stability might fall apart, please? Okay. Because they caught feelings here. They caught feelings here. Oh boy, Pisces. Oh boy. So they're putting up a front here. Right? Like... No, I got emotions, I got emotions, I got feelings for you, I love you, but I'm afraid that if I fall in love, that the foundation of my stability, their financial stability might fall apart. So this person could be literally worried that, you know, they might get used for money or something like that, right? I feel like I need to put a crystal there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that easy. They're afraid, literally, that their foundation of their stability would fall apart here if they were to tell you that they were in love with you. That their life would fall apart. So this person is very pentacle-based. At night, this person sleeps... Okay, they put, they grab all their money, all their pentacles, and they sleep on a cold bed of pentacles, all right? But that keeps them warm at night, their security. So what this is telling me, Pisces, at the, that this person has grown up very poor, okay, or they have a different kind of work ethic here, okay? 
like they've created their own ten of pentacles from what they have done so this person could be an entrepreneur here all right oh my goodness pisces that is just sad i mean this is just it's uh, i just don't understand i mean i do you know So, basically, at the end of the day, this person is very ambivalent. Very, very ambivalent here, okay? It's ambivalent. It's contradictory, right? Very ambivalent here. This is sad. This is sad. I bet this person is just fine with probably dying alone. As long as they got a big bag of pentacles here. They're going to be okay at the end of the day. And this is all, this is, this is sad. Very sad. Oh, brother Pisces. Okay. So what is this person holding back here? There's something else they're holding back. <laughs> they're holding a lot back. <laughs> oh, what else are they holding back here? Okay. What are they holding back with their seven of cups? Yep. This person, uh, you know what they are, what are they holding back? They're holding the fact back that they don't want to be strung along here. They don't want to be strung along here. No. 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 It's like the it's just that energy here. They and the the emperor here is here. Divine masculine uh, once again here. Okay? So this to me, and this has got to be, this person's got to be an entrepreneur here. I mean, it's literally, this is so, I would say that this is, in my sense, this would be tarot perfection right here on the table so far. Literally. I mean, it's all showing up here. I mean, this is very, yeah, this emperor is very ambivalent at the end of the day. He contradicts himself. Yep. Yep. I want love. I won't, I'd like to be in love, but I can't because... It, so this person here definitely is out of balance. They have, This person has no empress. This person's alone. Alone. They're rotting. Alone. Just like here, the decaying fruit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person leaves their fruit on the vine so long. They leave... Their emotions on the vine so long. They leave their love on the vine so long here that it starts to rot and become toxic. And then this person probably drinks their own toxic fruit, okay? Which would be like apples, okay? So then they get drunk, all right? Which is a toxin, okay? I'm not saying it's bad. To, I'm not trying to, you know bash people that like to drink, you know, whatever, but it's kind of like that energy. So their fruit has been on the vine. Their love fruit has been on the vine so long that it's become toxic. And who would want to drink that? Only them and only them for sure. My goodness, Pisces. Okay. Right on Donkey Kong. Okay. Hmm. I almost want to pull an extended. I'm feeling like I want to. I don't know. We're going to get into this reading here a little bit more. And then I'll figure out if I have, if I want to even pull an extended. Because they're showing up here on the table for a very specific reason here. And they're showing up on the table here with this Ace of Cups. So it's like, what are they going to do with this Ace of Cups here? Right? I kind of almost want to know. What they're going to do with this Ace of Cups. Ooh, if I do anything, I'll pull a Cat's Tail reading. And I'll pull on this Ace of Cups and what they're going to do with the, what these emotions here. Okay, so what's going on here with the Four Swords, please? Four Swords. What's going on here with the Four Swords? Four Swords. There's indecision here. What's going on here with the Four of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, please? Mm. 
the fool. So they're all, they want to come out here. They're very indecisive here. Okay. Under this four swords energy. It seems like this person has had some time here for themselves. So they come out of the groundhog hole, right? Okay. And they're like, hmm. I don't know. What do I do? Do I come to Pisces? And do I tell Pisces I want a new beginning? Okay. I think I'm going to definitely pull an extended. I am definitely going to pull an extended. So they're coming out of the groundhog hole. But there's indecision here about if this is going to work out or not. Okay. My goodness, Pisces. Okay. So let's talk to the sun. Why is the sun down here in this person's energy? Why is the sun down here? Okay. They've had a tower here. Their wood is split in half. The trunk of their tree is broke. <laughs> Sorry. If you guys, you guys know me. I feel like you guys know me and know my thoughts. <laughs> so what's the sun down here with the tower? What's happened here? What's happened here with the sun and the tower, please? They're not happy. So the, I'm peeling the layers back. I read energy in layers, kind of like peeling an onion in layers or a banana. Well, it only has one layer and then you get a banana and you see the banana. So this person is not happy right now is literally what's coming through on this reading. So I think literally I'm going to take this over to the extended. I'm going to pull a cat's tail, look at this person's own convictions and continue along this path. Uh, their dark side. Um, I want to pull here also on this, their emotions here. I want to pull on their emotions. I want to pull on the fool. I'm going to take this reading a little bit more in depth. And then I'm definitely going to pull a cat's tail. So uh, I think this is where I'm going to part. Um, if you guys want the extended, you guys know where to find me. There will be a link down below. You click more. Okay. It'll be in the description box below. It'll say extended reading link below. So um, if you want it, you can have it. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. I want to know. Uh, so with that being said, if this is where we part ways, um, I will see you on the next read. So I love you, my beautiful Pisces. Tarot's adjourned.